Getting through middle school unscarred is like navigating a minefield. One false step can ruin you forever. Our classroom was littered with the corpses of kids who would forever be known by the one mistake they had made. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. She was acquitted, by the way. In our class, the mastermind behind all these nicknames was Nickname O'Reilly. I still can't believe his nickname is Nickname. I know, it's so... not modern, but whatever it is, it'll come after modern. Remember that as part of our lesson on natural selection, we have our field trip to the Museum of Natural History tomorrow. Field trips, the greatest scam ever invented by teachers and students. We all knew they were nothing more than school-sanctioned hooky. We're going to learn a lot tomorrow. We sure are. <laughs> now that you're in seventh grade, the most important thing on a field trip is to sit next to a friend on the bus. If you get stuck with a loser, you might never recover. Never recover. OK, what else? Hi, boys. We have some very sad news. We just got a call and your great aunt Sylvia passed away. Great aunt Sylvia? Now here's everything that I remembered about our great aunt Sylvia. That's right, I'd never heard of her before in my life. Ted, you remember her. We visited about six years ago. Oh yeah, she had a piano. What's with all the winking today? Anyway, you're gonna have to miss school tomorrow for the funeral. Thank you, dead relative! Sure, Ted was happy about missing school, but I had a field trip. Don't make me go! Please! I'm too young to confront death. I'll get nightmares, please! Oh, it's okay. Good. It's okay if he misses the funeral, right, Jerry? Yeah, fine. I'm not sure we ever told her about you anyway. If you need anything, I'll be in the kitchen cooking dinner. You've been working on your tantrum. You noticed. My new trick is to start with the shoulders, then stutter in a three-four waltz speed. La like this. Da 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 It's good. I'll remember that. So it's over. That's right, Ted. We did it. Six years and she never found out. This is a great moment for us. I feel like a burden has been lifted. Let's just get through tomorrow, son. And our secret will be safe. Ted. This conversation never happened. Of course. Everything was cool. I had my seatmate, good old dependable Joyce. So, Joyce, where do you want to sit? Oh, gosh. This is kind of awkward. Michael didn't talk to you? You and Michael? How long? He asked me yesterday. Come on, I don't want to sit alone. The only person left to sit next to is... One Ned, now spell him. One Nad's real first name had long ago been lost in the collective unconscious of our school. Excellent job, One Nad! And that's why I'm naming you Student of the Week. According to PS266 folklore, One Nad made the one mistake every student had been warned about. He ran with scissors. <laughs> and that's how he got his name. Go on, Bean. Save yourself. Thanks. You're a good man, Monette. Oh, my God. Who are all these people? It was amazing. Even at a funeral with my dad's own relatives, he still needed my mom to tell him who everyone was. David, how are you? How's your father? 
Bernie doing? Oh, uh, not too well. And how's your mother? She's dead. This is her funeral. He meant, how's your mother going to be remembered? You know, Dad, <laughs> Mom was always so proud of your talent. Can I introduce you to someone? Excuse us. Come here, son. Talent? What did he mean, talent? Oh, uh, well, uh, you see, uh, my father was skilled at many things, okay. but he was a horrible liar. I'll raise you two bucks. Okay, I was bluffing. Damn it, I'm out. You see, when put on the spot, he could usually hold out for about seven seconds before exploding in a torrent of pure crystalline no, truth, I, I, which would be now. Okay, for the last six years, we've been keeping a dark, terrible secret from you. There! What? You want to know more? I was on a field trip. The sun was shining, and I had a thermos of my favorite soup. So what if I was sitting alone? This was the best day of my life. Great, just lost my lunch. Did you just throw up? No, no, it was soup. Ew, it smells like vomit. It's my mom's cooking, I swear. If that's soup, then where's the thermos? It just flew out the window. Okay, even I didn't believe that. Ah, uh, this is gonna be good. The entire class thought I'd thrown up on the bus. Already, nickname was furiously plotting my doom. Oliver Barf. You can bean. All over the bus bean? <sighs> come on, nickname, come on. It's okay that you got sick. That's right. Oh, I can't lie to you, Oliver. When you lost your lunch today, you upchucked what little social standing you had along with it. Didn't throw up. It was soup. Right. It was soup. And my dad's just on a long business trip. <sighs> my heart goes out to you, Oliver. What am I going to do? Listen, we have to contain this. If the bus gets back to the school before we neutralize the incident, it'll catch like wildfire. Maybe Nickname won't be able to think of a name. This whole thing will be forgotten. But just in case, we need to think of a plan. Hey, where are you going? Don't take this the wrong way, Oliver. But just being seen with you, friends our own fragile social standing. Uh, after all, you are the kid who threw up on the bus. It was soup! Okay. You want to know the truth? No. You want to know the truth? Yes, Jerry, the truth. Okay. You want to know the truth? Jerry, just tell me. You want to know the truth? Jerry! Okay. Back when we visited, Sylvia made Ted play the piano for her. And for some reason, she thought he was a genius. Ever since that day, every single month for the past six years, she's sent us $20 for Ted's piano lessons. Hey, look, Ted. This is for piano lessons. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tell me what you did with the money. Well, I, uh, it's like, well, you see, I, okay. You know how Ted and I go to a scout meeting the first Sunday of every month? Well, scout meeting might not mean exactly what you think it does. Think I've earned another merit badge yet? Sure. Here's one for charbroiling. <laughs> you spent her piano money on steak dinners? Almost $2,000 over the years. You spent $2,000 on steak dinners. I know it was wrong. And you didn't invite me. I love steak. Charlotte, you would have gone crazy over these porter houses and baked potatoes the size of oh, footballs. Stop, I, can't stand I know it's so delicious to think about. Look, we have to keep your family from finding out. You told her? 
I can't believe you didn't invite me. I wanted to, but Dad said we wouldn't have enough money for side orders. <gasps> and the cream spinach is unbelievable. It just melts in your mouth. Shut up, Ted. <laughs> Pay attention. And here we have another example of natural selection. The smarter animal survives, while the dumber animal, who cheats on his wife, ends up under the wheels of her T-bird. Oh, my God. Excuse me, everyone, uh, draw a picture or something. Hmm? Welcome to the club. What club? Don't play dumb. You threw up on the bus? It was soup. It doesn't matter. Welcome to the lowest rung of the social ladder. I realized then that if I didn't stop the rumor soon, it would become permanent history, and I would be as extinct as that Neanderthal. <laughs> loser doing trying to talk with us. Ugh. Okay, go ahead, all right. You guys have to help me now. I don't want to be known as puke and bean forever. I just thought of another one. Vomit or bean. <laughs> That's it. Vomit or bean. Hey, everyone, look. It's vomit or bean. <laughs> Be strong, just don't mention the piano lessons. Oh, Uncle Bernie, I'm so sorry. She was so full of life. Why are dead people always described as full of life? Shut, Shut up, up, Ted. Dad. Ted, your music brought such joy to Sylvia. Would Ted play during the service? It would mean so much. Oh, I, I don't think so. You don't think so? Jerry... The love of my life just died. I'm asking for a, a tiny gesture to help me get through this. We heard him play last month, and I know she'd love this. Have some sympathy, please. He'll give the performance of his life. He looks so sad. Last month? How did he hear Ted play last month? Good, Ted. Watch that tempo. I have no idea. Anyway, we'll be fine. This room doesn't even have a piano. Good news. We have a piano. Okay, wonderful. How fast can you learn Chopin? Why are we doing this again? Think about it. Once someone sits on this glue and rips their pants, everyone will forget all about what happened to me on the bus. Now find me a victim. Then, once he stands up... <laughs> ah. Uh, Oliver, you just squeeze glue all over yourself. Ah, God! Ah. Oh. Is he feeling himself up? Yeah, but uh, he's already got a nickname. Oh, yeah. Too bad. Oh. Rubber underwear. Yes! Nickname is a pain sweater. He wears rubber underpants? What should I do? I should expose him, right? You know, if you do that, then you're no better than he is. Right now, that's not something I really care about. You have to expose him. It's survival of the fittest. But you're right. Let's get him. Meanwhile, the Bean Alliance was crumbling. 
You sabotaged our plan. It was an honest mistake. If I have to go out there, I'm telling everyone what happened. You would sell out your own father? You shiftless coward. Dude, that's your son. I would have never agreed if I knew it was gonna come to this. Well, you're in too deep to back out now. All right, all right, boys. Enough with the bad cliches. If we're gonna get out of this alive, we're gonna have to work together. Don't worry. I'm gonna think of a plan. God, this is a nightmare. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Oh, there, there. We'll all get through this together. Do you mind? I'm trying to think. The field trip was ending. This was my last chance to change history. Now, pull down his pants. Go, go, go. You know something? Joyce is right. This whole cycle of emotional torture has to stop, and I'm the only one who can put an end to it. I vote for peace. You wimped out. I'm so ashamed. As much as she loved music, she loved nature. Hey, Watch how's that plan of yours coming? Don't worry. I'm still thinking. My father was desperately trying to think of a perfect plan, and then it hit him. Before I play, I just want to say goodbye to my Aunt Sylvia. <laughs> ah! My finger! I got it. He's already up there, Jerry. One of my mother's greatest joys was sponsoring her grandnephew Ted's piano lessons. Ted will now play in her honor. Um... I have a confession to make. Oh my god, he's gonna rat me out! I confess. I might be too broken up to play right now. But I'll try my best. So great. <laughs> It turned out that my father didn't lie to Bernie. For that day, Ted did indeed give the greatest performance of his life. Why? Why? Why did you have to let Cynthia? Cynthia? It was Sylvia. Dee, he was so talented. My brother had saved his family just in time. But for me, time had all but run out. Once my classmates got off that bus, my fate would be sealed. Everyone stay seated. We will exit in an orderly fashion. Well, I guess you and me, we're in it together from here on in. Please don't face me. I'm afraid you're gonna barf again. But I'm okay with my fate. I know that even the biggest name callers have secrets of their own. What do you mean? Take Nick then. He wears rubber underpants. Sure, we could have exposed him, but I'm proud that we're above that. In one fell swoop, Nickname's reign of terror came to an end. And just as quickly, all the nicknames he had ever cast suddenly fell away, as if a spell had been broken. Walter. My name is Walter. My name is Walter! Ralph! Call me Ralph! My name is... My name is... Leslie. Oh, man. <laughs> The funny thing was, old one nad had more ball than I did all along. Ted! Ted! You gonna be all right? If uh, there's anything we can do for you and Bernie, just ask. Thank you. I'll <laughs> 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 say, Jerry, what's the name of Ted's piano teacher? 
I got a friend who's looking for one. I, uh, I, uh, well, okay. It's, um, like, you see, I'm, like, okay, uh, I, I, okay! Ted never took me out of lessons! We spent all the money on steaks! Nearly $2,000 worth, and they were delicious! Okay? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Two thousand dollars, huh? The world may indeed be ruled by survival of the fittest, but as my entire family learned that day, there's also a competing force at work. We'd eventually call it karma, but in 1963, the best term we had for it was things coming back to bite you in the ass. Can't believe I just blew two thousand bucks on a freaking bench. Want to know what would cheer us all up? A nice steak dinner. Shut up, Ted. Ted. Laugh Out Loud Sunday continues with a new Simpsons next. Fox Monday. It's a night of huge personalities. Only one's hot and one's not. First, no matter how you label it. Nice name tag. Are you a garbage man? That 70s show spells fun. It's a bad! Catch a special full hour. Then, how will Randy's parents react to Steve? How do you think? It's disturbing. He will not be in my family. I don't know what to do. All new, my big, fat, obnoxious fiancé. It all starts with an hour of That 70s Show at 8, 7 central, Fox Monday. <laughs>